Hey everyone, welcome back to the Kegel Training Center here in Lake Wales, Florida. Joining me once again, my special guest, Chris Trotta, former player for Weber International. Today we're gonna to talk about how to choose the right bowling ball based on the oil pattern. And Chris, for me, it was pretty simple back in the day. Uh, uh, I let my ball be, be my guide. If it didn't curve enough, I got a stronger ball, put some sandpaper to it. If it hooked too much, I'd get a shinier ball and throw it a little bit faster. But today, there's a lot more options, aren't yeah. there? Yeah, there are a lot more options. And based off the oil pattern, if you're bowling a long, medium, or short, you're gonna wanna have different layouts and different bowling balls. Uh, so some of the things we have is we have uh, surface options. You're gonna have to, in your arsenal, you wanna have a different variety of surfaces so you could attack the pattern as it transitions. Uh, you're gonna wanna have a combination of symmetricals and asymmetrical bowling balls. So symmetrical balls usually have a smaller engine. They're gonna tend to be smoother off the spot. Asymmetric balls are gonna tend to hook a little bit more and have uh, uh, a sharper transition and then you're also going to want to look have have a, a bunch of different layouts uh, this includes pin ups and pin downs so uh, pin downs will have a longer and smoother transition while pin ups once they get to the dry part of the oil pattern they tend to snap a little bit harder and have a quicker transition there you have it it's all about having the right equipment for the right conditions